Welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon, everybody! So, there's a major difference you can probably hear. And that difference is, my coffee maker is busted again. I think I have to actually go inside the darn thing, just to fix it! Also, I think I've uh, fixed up my uh, microphone's uh, filter settings. Uh, of course! Also, from that first fight, uh, uh, Dart is fearful right now, so I'm running towards the full heal in hopes that works. Because I only have one item that can cure that status. And I don't want to use it yet, if I don't have to. Because the alternate is... Of, of course. Why? Why? Yeah. The smart thing to do is just be reset. But, ah. Well, that was neat. Oh, cool. Yeah, the smart thing to do would be to reset, but nah. Unless this didn't cure Fearful, and it did, so I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, uh, that's what Demon Kit looks like, it, apparently. Yeah, there was a, one, a, a filter in OBS I was using as part of a plugin was uh, screwing up with my uh, sound quality. Here we go again. Well, that went well. But yeah, long story short, uh, I finally got around to buying a physical pop filter, so I was able to greatly readjust a uh, filter in OBS that I was using in place of one. So yeah. Well, this is just Battle Central, it seems. That went well. Well. Better than the last time I fought that combo. Well, moving on. I I should probably mention that there is a chance you'll hear a uh, smack, uh, as if I'm chewing gum. Uh, not very often, but uh, that's going to be a consequence of my current setup. I tried to get rid of that, but well. It just screws too many things up. So, if it annoys you, sorry about that. I really am. Anyway, moon that never. Oh yes, moon that never sets. Not the moon, just moon. It is spreading poison all over the world. In order to stop the poison, we have to reach the core of the moon before it is too late. That was a pause. Unless Shauna and the core, as Rose says, are wedded, the god of destruction won't be born, right? Yeah, we're uh, chasing after Shauna. It is a dilemma for us because we want to take Shauna back. Tongle as well, assuming he's still with us. That just bugs me, I'm sorry. If we don't meet Shauna and we can destroy only the core of the moon, the world will be saved. But Zig is here for sure, with Shauna. That is the only chance to save her. 
We will save both the world and Shauna. Fate is not in the hands of the creator. It is in our hands. We won't let Soa decide the fate of the world. That goes for Shauna's fate as well. We will decide our own fate. Is there anything of note over here? Other than, other than a chance to look at moon that never sets? Yeah, that's that, I guess. No point in looking there, I, I guess. More cutscene. Is this the moon that never sets? I guess so. Yes. Thanks, Rose. It has been long. Very... Let's get going. Well... So he just went through another point of no return. This time we can't grind. Oh, hi, Kongol! You are with us! That's awesome! The moon is shaking! That's, that must be the core. Don't tell me. The god of destruction is about to be born? That's a yes. It cannot be! The birth of the god of destruction is our death! I like how the background is changing. That's right! We are still alive! Let's go! Must stop my father! Yes, let, let us go! Must stop my father! Wow! Yeah, I'm guessing proofreading was uh, put on the sidelines for this disc. Or this part of the game. Is this a forest? I thought we stepped into the moon. But indeed, this tree is a true tree. A forest inside the moon? I guess. Oh no! Were we sent to the ground? No. Listen. It's the heartbeat of the Virage Embryo. The God of Destruction. An empty body that is the living corpse from which the soul was taken out by ancient Wingleys on the day it was conceived in the Divine Tree. We must be in the moon. Then no matter what it looks like, we gotta keep going. It well said. Ooh, treasure chest. Frozen jet. It's a usable item! And this is a battle! It does me that I should probably switch Albert out if I'm gonna be using him against the final boss. Trap plant. Crap. I guess the trap plant uh, concurs with me. But you can't argue with that sort of damage, you know? Crap. Oh well. At least the enemies fall somewhat easily. Oh yeah, another frozen jet. It attacks every enemy with the as a water-based attack. So, yeah, I've got that. Huh? If it weren't for the heartbeat, this would be peaceful. It looks like a grassland. Yeah. Plains. 
The kind you'd see on a basic land picture for planes. You're snow covered. That's a quick biome change. Miranda, what's wrong? I know this place. Does it look like the forest of your home? Not only that, it is the forest of Mills of so where I grew up. I'll be back soon. Sorry, but wait for me here. There is something I have to check. Alone. Miranda? Okay. Yeah, I figured, but... Are you sure visiting alone was, is such a good idea? As I expected, this is the forest of my home. Why is this in the moon? This rose is... blinding. Or a flashback. Mother, where are you going? Go home, Miranda. Huh? You have a kid? Um, yeah. Mother, don't go! Father is calling you! What are you going to do? Because I married that man, my life has been completely ruined. He hardly works and drinks all the time with the money I earned. I don't even have... I don't even have enough food and I am... and I'm starving every day. I cannot stand it anymore. Okay. A beautiful life must be waiting for me if I leave this forest. Yes, I can say farewell to this miserable life. Now, let's go. No, no, mother! Wow. That's saddening. What? God damn it, Miranda! At least you can... Well, well, that didn't do too much at all. At least you can heal yourself. Without items. A couple of times. Never mind what I just said. So, Death Rose. Yeah, this is why you, you don't run throughout the, through a forest alone. Especially when that force happens to be inside the moon that never sets. Yeah. Although that is an awfully specific condition. No, don't, no. All right. You drained less health than I can yeah. deal to you in damage. <laughs> Even physically grabbing me will not prevent you from missing somehow. That's a face. Why? Why did you abandon dad in me? Ah, oh, Miranda. I had no choice. Shut up! Dad fell ill and I became an orphan. You can never imagine how I lived since then. Ah, uh, it hurts. If what your mother said is true and your father actually did drink a lot, maybe his drinking has something to do with that. But I don't know. Your mother did admittedly abandon you like that. Which is a particularly crappy thing for any kid to have to go through. It's a great way to royally screw them up for life. Yeah. Oh, you're below half health. Yeah. Well, it's not so bad, really. 
I understand that what I've done is unforgivable as a mother. But I want you to understand. What do you want me to understand? I worked because I didn't want you, a newborn baby, to starve. But he didn't even try to work. My father may not have been a respected man, but at least he was with me all the time, unlike you. Ah, it hurts. I wonder if uh, Miranda's mother not being around was her working. That would answer that particular question. Yeah, yeah. Zelda trauma is no laughing matter, man. Hopefully you, the viewer, haven't had to deal with anything like that. And so, hopefully this doesn't hit too close to home. Oh. I can imagine how angry you are at me. But I never forgot about you, even for a moment. Don't lie to me. It's not a lie. I visited him so many times to take you with me. But every time he just kicked me out. What? My mother was thinking about me. You have the same name as the goddess of Mill. She is pure and loved by everybody. I named you that because it was my wish for you. Ah, it hurts. Well, even if you do say that, Miranda's under no obligation whatsoever to forgive you. That's true in quite a few situations, really. And seriously, if you're in this position and you have a, a parent that walked out and you and just must walk back in, you don't have to let them in, let alone forgive them. It's your life. They chose really on not to be part of it. Well, at the same time, they might have some reason. Good or no. Probably not, but... Uh, anyway. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna practice what I preach here. Ah, oh, Miranda, it's painful. As long as you hate me, I can't return to normal. Wait, I have to forgive you? Well... It's ultimately up to you if you want to forgive someone who does that to you. So you might have to be prepared to play some sort of play against some sort of mental game. Either way, I recommend if you want to talk to someone about it, uh, well, I'm sure you can find uh, some psychiatrists who specialize in this sort of thing. I've already given my two cents. Either way, uh. Let's see what the game does. Oh, you can forgive me? Thank you, Miranda. Didn't expect the game to go into this heavy of a topic. But, ah, here we are. Mother, I was wrong. I have a trophy, and there's Rose down there. I entered the palace in order to preach love, and to build a world where everybody can live happily. But my heart was filled with sorrow and hatred. And without knowing, I was absorbed in fighting in order to ease my loneliness. 
I didn't even try to understand my mother's pain and agony. Just accumulate hatred and hurt many people. I don't deserve to be a sacred sister. Bollocks. Miranda, what happened? Oh yeah, Mary was there as well. Are you really okay? Your eyes are kind of watery. Sorry, please leave me alone now. Let's go. That's the only thing we can do now. Well, that was a bit of a quick turnaround. Um, hmm. Well, let's keep going then. I'm not too concerned then. I'm about to be concerned then. Oh, hello. Swift Dragon. You know what? Uh, I don't think I'm going to be uh, I don't think I'm going to be using oh, Wow I don't think I'm going to be using these things against anyone else And the item in that chest might be a healing item Plus, I get the feeling that Dart might not be doing much damage against that thing, so... Oh, Albert level. Cool. Well, let's switch him out then. At least temporarily. Let's go, Kongle. Downburst! Yeah, it sounds like a usable item. Although not a healing one. What is this? We gotta go forward anyway. Well, at least I didn't have to ask it. Wait. We're in a town in the moon? What? There are people? What's going on? Why are people living in the moon? Why are they still images? I still don't know, but... Rose, what are you doing? I didn't advance that. You feel pain. It is certain that this is just... not just an illusion. This world is reality. Indeed. My phone is going off, and I need to answer that real quick. Sorry about this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. So, yeah, I had to answer that phone call. All is good. Anyway, indeed, I've never visited the moon before, but I cannot help but feel like I know this place. People's faces, clothes, it's not a mistake. This is a building in Sergio. I have traveled all over Endiness, and they have typical, and they have typical Sertian faces. Look, the girl over there. Looks Sertian. No, she is not. And she moves. It cannot be. Disappeared. It looks like that is reality here too. 
Are you okay, dude? Okay, so... Rest up here and save. Actually... What sort of shop is this? Ah. Uh, not a shop. Maybe that's down here. Talking to you. Well... Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, probably not going to be using some of these, uh, attack items. Yeah. So... Okay. Uh... Oh, I don't have very many healing items. Okay. Uh... I want to keep uh, the... Both of these. I'll, I'll, uh, some my deep petrifiers as well. Alright, that'll do. And yes, I did talk to her in intentionally. This tune is... This tune is... Familiar to both of them. Okay. Weapon shop, what do you have? And am I gonna have to sell anything else? Ha 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 ha. Oh boy. Okay. So many good options here. Yeah, seeing this makes me think, uh, Pongle should have been a Dragoon as well. Again, I, I don't know. Well, uh, yep. So I know you're going to be in the party. I know you're going to be in the party as well. Um, hmm. I think I'll hold off on the rest for the time being. What do you have to say? I am the son of the most wealthy house in this town. <laughs> Come on, I'll take it to spirits. Well, don't worry about money, it's on me. I am a rich man. <laughs> you are grand, aren't you? Indeed. Do you know him? Yes. If he is my old acquaintance, this must be Bale twenty years ago. What? Well, good that we talk to this drunk then. Before I move on, this time I'm actually going to save. <laughs>